Hey there, welcome on my channel, I'm Spacebar. A black hat hacker, and today, I'm going to teach you something about Python. Python is a programming language, with which you can create powerful offensive and defensive softwares, in a few lines of code. It's easy to use, and can be easily installed and used, on any type of environment. In this first part of this first tutorial we will see how to create a simple backdoor. That is, a program that will guarantee to an attacker a remote access to a machine. Before starting, I advise you to install two programs that will be useful for the development. The first is Terminator, a useful tool for arranging terminals. The second is Visual Studio Code, a program to write code in a simpler and more organized way. Of course you can use any type of text editor, in which case a good alternative is, Notepad++. Once our editor is open, we are going to create a new folder for our project, and on Visual Studio Code we set it in our workspace. Now we proceed to create the server of our backdoor, which will make a reverse connection to the attacker, giving access to the machine. So let's create a new file and let's call it, server.py. Now let's go and write the code. First we have to import the libraries, so, we start by writing. Import sockets. Now we're going to import the subprocess library, that will allow us to execute a command and capture its output. Now you can define the global variables that will be used for the reverse connection. Post and port. The first must be associated with the value of your IP, local or not. and the door must be open to allow the service. Then we go to create a variable socket type that we will use to administer all the parts related to the communication between the machines. The syntax is the following but remember that, in the description, I will leave the link to download the source code ready. Now the server will have to connect to the attacker's machine to open the access, then write, s.connect, open round parenthesis, post, comma, port, closed round parenthesis. Now let's open an infinite loop by following the syntax, while, 1. I remind you that the tabulation in Python is essential to separate the contents of, loops, functions and so on. You can read more online. At this point we are going to receive a maximum of 4096 bytes from the socket and move them to the data variable. With a quick check we make sure that the received string is not equal to quit or, in case it is, quit the loop. Now in the variable, Brock, we save the entire output of the command execution. Now we store in a second variable, stout underscore value, only the output of the execution of the command and, or of the error. Now we can send the contents of the variable to the server, through the socket, using the function, send. Once the loop is finished or if the user has decided to close the connection, close the socket. The operation of this first part was relatively simple. 
In the next episode we will see the creation of the client and we will carry out the first road test of our back door. Here space bar. Over and out.